hot boat coming right through the middle of downtown Savannah. That is way too cool. Can you imagine? I mean, like those uh, shipping containers, how many of them they are just stacked on top of each other right there? A regular size shipping container? Yeah. So we've been exploring some of the gift shops and the um, restaurants and uh, this, the, just the little shops that are down here on the waterfront. It's really cool I'm down here. so glad because it has been a year and a half since we've had a vacation, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's been about a year and a half since we've done anything. So getting away for four days and coming down here to Savannah, Georgia, with all the history and everything that's going on that's here, that's um, we're well, really- two businesses during COVID just kept us crazily busy. So this is really nice. Oh, and we're going to look for Susan Sarandon who's here. Yeah, I guess Susan Sarandon is filming a, a filming a movie here, so we're going to keep in our uh, keep in our eye out for Susan Sarandon. So if we're filming and you see her in the background, comment and let us know. Yeah, we I'm not paying one. her though for any screen time. <laughs> Are you not? No. I don't know. No, she's this is a freebie if we if we catch Susan Sarandon. Okay. Do you even know who she is? I know who she is. What's one movie she did? Rocky Horror Picture Show. I thought you'd take Thelma and Louise. Oh yeah, Thelma and Louise. We arrived in Savannah, Georgia yesterday. Um, this is the first time we've ever been here. It's a town that we've heard about our entire lives. Uh, we've been wanting to come here for forever and we finally made it. So um, we actually stopped at this little town right now in, in just outside of Savannah called Tybee Island. And uh, we come across this big shark's head that Chris... <laughs> <laughs> Chris is being eaten by a shark right now. <laughs> Do you want to get eaten by the shark? Sure, why not? I'm going to go get eaten by the shark. <laughs> so funny. Hmm. I like this ocean because it's it's warm in comparison to the Pacific Ocean. So it's really easy to get into. <laughs> it's nice, huh? Yeah. We're coming out here. We're gonna walk to the end of the pier. Chris has a Tropicalia from, is that Creature Comforts? Creature Comforts, you said it's in from Athens? From Athens, Georgia, which is not too far from here. We actually did a video on Athens, Georgia. It's the REM video, remember? And uh, B-52s, and I got a good old PBR. Well, look at somebody made like a little pool down there and all the little, uh, <laughs> like all the seagulls are playing in it. Oh, they're playing in a little pool. They're like taking baths. That's pretty cool. I've arrived at Bonaventure. Cemetery. It's this really big historic cemetery here in Savannah, Georgia. And there is one particular gravesite that I wanted to visit. Famous uh, songwriter. And uh, as we kind of make our way through the through the the headstones and monuments and stuff like that here, we will uh, we'll come across it eventually. Look at the Spanish moss coming down over the over the grave sites and this, look at that tree isn't that beautiful this here is a grave of gracie little gracie little gracie watson the most famous grave visited in this bonaventure cemetery this is the grave site that we came here to see it's the grave site of john herndon herndon mercer better known as johnny mercer this guy was a very famous songwriter um wrote a lot of songs back in the 40s and 50s for people like frank sinatra and um you know the thingers of that time he wrote a lot of the old 
standards and he was four-time Academy Award winner um, he wrote Autumn Leaves he wrote Moon River Jeepers Creepers he wrote one for my baby which isn't on here but also I didn't know until recently that he wrote the song for the Disney movie Zippity Doodah the um, Song of the South uh, song and everybody knows that if you know Disney you know zippity doo dah zippity doo dah zippity a he wrote that song this guy wrote how many songs did it say he ran, ran, uh, wrote I just around there it's like covered in 1500 or something 1500 songs I think it was I don't know he wrote a lot of music that could be wrong don't quote me on the 1500 but um, he co-founded Capitol Records oh really co-founder of Capitol Records. I wish he would have co-founded Mosquito Repellent. <laughs> yeah. This guy is uh, that old black magic. Yeah, there it is. One for my baby. That's a good song. Um, you must have been a beautiful baby. <laughs> the days of wine and roses. Come rain or come shine. God, this guy wrote some really famous old standards that Again, we're sung by guys like uh, Tony Bennett, Frank Sinatra, and people like that. I think Duke, Ellion, uh, Duke Ellington did some stuff with them, um, along with Henry Mancini. This is a famous, famous guy, and I'm, I'm glad I got the opportunity to come here and check out his gravesite because I used to listen to that music. Both of us, Chris and I, both used, used to listen to that music quite a bit. Um, yeah, every night when I would uh, go to sleep, my dad would come in and tuck me in and sing Moon River. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. And that song, of course, written by Johnny Mercer, right there. Okay, so we were driving down the road. We're on our way to this Jones Street downtown um, in Savannah, Georgia. And <laughs> we come across this sign that um, we both were like, oh, we got to stop and get a, a picture of this. And check this out. When was the last time, if you were of any uh, significant age, like I am. But when, this sign was used back in the early 1970s for Taco Bell. Check this out. God, I remember going, actually this is an Arby's here there's a Wendy's right there. The Taco Bell is over there, but where this sign is was the original location of the Taco Bell that was went out of use decades ago. I, I remember um, that sign from when I was just a little kid going to Taco Bell, but that's something you don't see very often is that old sign. It said, uh, we, found, we found this particular sign online and it said that it was, uh, it was in use um, until 1972 but then they started to kind of change it and, and, and I guess simplify it in some way uh, up and through like 1984 so it's been here for at least at least 40 years at least 40 years um, and possibly probably closer to 50 years that sign has been there but that's cool though Taco Bell sign I like that Okay. On East Jones Street. We have reached East Jones Street, and according to wow, well, uh, according to the internet, this is supposed to be the prettiest street in Savannah. So let's take a look here. Well, look at the gas, um, the gas lit light over that front port, front porch. <laughs> that is really, really cool. Yeah, I would say that this qualifies as the uh, as the prettiest, the prettiest street in Savannah. You got the Spanish moss hanging off the trees up here, kind of the the brick roads. That's really cool too. 
Okay, we've got a couple of cocktails here. This is the Peach Tree Street, and this is the Summer Blossom Mule. Look at the full flower in it. It's like a real flower. That's cool. I don't think it's edible though, do you? Yeah, they wouldn't put an unedible flower in your drink. I'm not eating that. Are you gonna eat it? <laughs> All right. You can try it. Tell me what you think. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, let me try it. Mm, you're right about it. I'm glad I got the ginger. Oh my god, that is delicious. This is so good too. No. All right, I'm going to try the peach, peach tree street. That's very good. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think this would be better. She talked me into getting this one. That's the one I wanted. Now she's drinking it. But we can just share both of them. Yeah. Anyway, what's the name of this place? This place is called B. B. Matthews Eatery in Savannah. And I came here because they have pea, pea sandwiches. Yeah. It's pea? a crispy black eyed pea cake sandwich. So that is what we've ordered. And uh, that should be coming out here in a second. But these drinks are delicious. So definitely, if you're looking for a good drink, definitely come to B. Matthews Eatery in Savannah, Georgia. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Think. Cheers. That's funny. The one you ordered. I, I like that one better. You like that one better. Huh. Okay, our sandwiches have arrived. This is the pea crispy black eyed pea cake sandwich. It's got a, a remoulade on there. I, I love remoulade. Looks like some seasoned fries and some ketchup. This looks really good. You want to try it? What? Try the sandwich. I just yeah. Oh, you did? It's delicious. Okay. Very good. Gonna film me. It's kind of hard to pick up. Do I have it the right way? Hmm. Oh. So I would highly recommend this uh, this black eyed pea cake sandwich at this B B Matthews restaurant. We went to a restaurant yesterday and it's down actually kind of across the street but down on the waterfront. It was a burger joint. And I think I paid um, four dollars more for a hamburger and tater tots down there that was I mean it was mediocre at best. Um, but right across the street here. Uh, you can get this really, really nice sandwich. I mean, I would highly recommend this sandwich. It is delicious. And it comes with these seasoned french fries. It is so good. Um, if we come back, or when we come back to Savannah, we're definitely going to come back here and eat B. Matthews. So shout out to B. Matthews Restaurant. This is really fantastic food. The service is really good. The, the atmosphere is good. It's a nice... It's a nice looking restaurant on the inside. And um, a waitress is amazing. Um, again, the cocktails are really good. It's just, it's a much better choice. Uh, and it's right here. And what's the name of the street? I'll figure it out. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. Just look at the bottom of the screen. You'll see, you'll see the name of the street. It's like the main part of really old town. It's just like one block set offset from the river, like the river walk on the front. But yeah, come here and definitely get some food. Be Matthews. We're going on a walking ghost tour of uh, Savannah. It's a two hour deal. It starts, I think it's every night, isn't it? Yeah. Every night at nine o'clock, we got a Groupon for it. So um, we're gonna go on a haunted ghost walking tour here. It starts in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Uh, he was a wealthy plantation owner from the West Indies who immigrated to the United States so he could start a shipping company. Uh, now when he first moved here, he met and fell in love with a young woman named Lucinda. Lucinda was 17 years old and Francis was far from that. 
but it was different times. They were madly in love, whatever. So they ended up getting married. Uh, and their marriage lasted for about five years before Lucinda, unfortunately. We've come to Forsyth Park to enjoy their farmer's market and you can take a look around. We've got, there's a bunch of um, booths over here that we're going to go and, and take a look at. These looks look like they might be something to do with the military because we've got some army people here. It looks like there's a band playing. Um, we just got here so we're just kind of getting the lay of the land but all along here <clears throat> is all kinds of, you know, farmer's market booths that are here. Uh, so we're just kind of walking around and checking it out. It's, a, it's kind of a cool vibe here at this park. They have a vegan gumbo here. Bean, yeah. Bean pies. pies. Oh, I'm gonna have to try one of those. This here is a, we're gonna walk around the front to see really what it is, but this here is a Confederate monument that the people that are doing this drum circle here want removed. It said that they have been uh, signing petitions to have it removed. It's been here for 148 years and they want it gone. So they are protesting this this monument to try to have it removed from yeah, the Forsyth Park here in Savannah. Visited fountain in Savannah, Georgia. It really is kind of beautiful. We were trying to come here last night, but we couldn't. Um, we couldn't make it. We had a, a tour that we were doing last night, the ghost tour that we were doing last night. But apparently, this is all lit up and it looks really nice at night. We've come to eat lunch or breakfast, late breakfast at Clary's Restaurant. It's a famous restaurant here in Savannah, Georgia. And it is, uh, well, is that kind of put on the map by that movie, um, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil? Apparently some of the characters in, I have to watch that movie again. Uh, some of the characters were in and out of this restaurant during the, uh, during some of the scenes in the movie. So that kind of, it, because it's such a famous movie and especially a famous movie, movie for the people in this area, it, this place really became super popular after that movie came out. So we're about to go in there and have some... I think I'm gonna get an omelet. What did you order? Stuffed French toast with strawberries. Where are the strawberries at? Oh, oh yeah, it's just strawberries in there. Oh, that looks really good. And what did you get? I got a veggie omelet. I put already put Texas pizza all over it. <laughs> and some, the some potatoes. It looks delicious though, doesn't it? Potatoes are really good. So we just finished eating at Clary's. It's a little bit of a wait. A little bit of a wait. It's only a 20 minute wait. But, gosh, but the place is perfect. The food so was really good. Yeah. That I would I had the veggie omelet and it was really, yeah. they put broccoli in it and I would have never have thought that broccoli would be good in omelet, but man, that was delicious. Very good. If you're ever in Savannah, definitely come to Clary's. And how much was it for both of us to eat? Was it was 28 and bucks. We had a couple of, uh, you know, soft drinks and um, breakfast. two breakfasts. And a juice. And juice and it was under uh, it was under 30 bucks. So very reasonably priced. Excellent food. Excellent service. And yeah, excellent service. Waiters and the busboys, they've all been here for 20 years. Mm hmm On the ghost tour yesterday, they were saying that these things were believed to get rid of bad luck. These downspouts. So if you ever see these fish downspouts here, you're supposed to 
put, let me see if I can get my, no, just the, you're supposed to put your back of your heel to it and it takes away any oh, your bad, luck. bad luck or demons or anything that's attached to you. And then if you want extra good luck, you rub its nose. That's right. Rub but its she said nose. the older ones, her nose is all rubbed off. Yeah, you can kind of see how that the, the people have rubbed the noses off of it. <laughs> it's been around like since 1700. Mm -hmm. Trying to. Okay. Here's something you don't see too often on the streets of uh, Greenville. Apparently his name is Robert. And Robert is in Savannah, Georgia. <laughs> he is on the move. Get out of there. <laughs> How old is he? America has uh, 18. Water, 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 the fakeness if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this although it's show up I don't ever slow up no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up we just saw her Julia Lowe birthplace of Girl Scouting in the United States March 12th 1912 this building, formerly the stable of Juliet Lowe, first Girl Scouts headquarters of the United States. I knew that that Juliet Lowe was uh, was from here. Um, and we weren't really particularly looking for this this building, but we're just walking up the street, and here it is. This here is Chippewa Square. This is famous from the movie uh, Forrest Gump. In fact, that sign right there that says Chippewa Square, that is where the bench was sitting that Forrest Gump was sitting at when he was talking about the, the box of chocolates and was having a conversation, telling the story, telling a story to that lady on the, uh, the park bench. And you can see this is a one-way street going this way. <clears throat> when the bus picked him up, if you notice on buses, the door to the bus is on the passenger side, not the driver's side. So they had to remove that sign, the one-way sign, and have the bus come this direction and pick him up so he could get on the on the bus um, because the way the the, the street is, is situated they wouldn't have been able to pick him up um, going that direction that they're going so anyway the bench is not there it was actually only placed there because of the movie and there's three of them um, one Tom Hanks owns one is in a museum here in Savannah Georgia and what did she say the third one was? it still said Savannah there's a third one somewhere. I don't remember what the gal said yesterday, but um, yeah, t apparently Tom Hanks owns one of them, and then one of them is here at the History Museum in Savannah. So if you come to Savannah and go to the History Museum, you will be able to see one of the benches that he was sitting on in the movie. But yeah, this is Chippewa Square. This is the Forest Gump Park. yesterday that this cemetery actually used to extend out into the middle of the street and that um, and that they're they didn't remove the bodies when they moved it back to build the street so she was saying as you could I don't know if you could the cameras picking up but right right about here there's a dip like the bricks kind of go like dip like this I'll stand on it so you can see right yeah. there right there's one that you're kind of like in the middle of it or a little bit for a little bit further I'd say another couple feet yeah it kind of dips from where she's standing right there and she says that every everywhere that there's a dip in the bricks that's where the the coffin I guess to kind of disintegrated here's another one here kind of disintegrated and um, the the earth kind of fell in on it so that she says that every time there's a dip there's a body right there a, a, a grave I should say it's kind of interesting how they wouldn't have you know 
gotten the the, the, the bodies out from underneath and, and moved them into the ground. They just left them there, you know, and just kind of paved over them with these bricks. So outside of the gate there, that's where we were just walking, where the graves are outside. And now we've entered the Colonial Park uh, Cemetery. Now this is the second in Colonial Savannah. Cemetery, the second in Colonial Savannah, was the burying ground for the city from about eight, uh, 1750 until it closed against burials in 1853. She said there was an, uh, a, a smaller cemetery here in savannah somewhere i don't know exactly where it was or if it's even still there um but it was really small and it filled up very quickly so they had to build this one a lot of these um ones that you see here that um like the bricks and that uh kind of this one kind of has a hump on it this one is more of a you know triangular shaped in the middle kind of like this one as well um, my understanding is that these aren't the grave sites of just one person, but it would be like a family grave site. So there's probably several people buried in there. And from what I understand, also they dug down quite a bit. So the bodies were, a lot of them were stacked on top of each other. So there could be six, you know, eight people buried in this one place, all from the same family. Back on this side of the cemetery, um, this wall here was the original brick wall that surrounded the cemetery. Uh, when it was first when it was first put together the wall used to go all the way around the cemetery but apparently they they tore some of that especially on the far side where i said that the uh, graves went out into the street the brick wall was out in the middle of the street and they had to obviously take it down um, but these gravestones here were gravestones that had fallen down over the years sometimes vandals pushed them over or moved them around and they didn't know where the original graves were so as a way of honoring the people that um that are buried here that they don't know exactly where the graves are they just took the stones and they brought them over here and they they put them up so that's uh so that they can still be memorialized we found this little riverside bar here called wild it's w y l d and it is kind of like outside of the downtown part of savannah and it's nice because um, there's not that hustle and bustle of downtown Savannah, especially on the Saturday, a Saturday afternoon with the weather being so beautiful. There's a ton of people. Parking sometimes is a little difficult to find, although it's not impossible. It's just a little difficult to find. But we found this place, and it is uh, again. It's just maybe I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes out of out of uh, uh, downtown Savannah, and it's just check this place out. And I'm coming in to have a bite to eat, probably something to drink. They got the kids with them. They got a dog with them. That's kind of a cool, cool thing to be able to take the boat over to uh, the restaurant, have a nice time, nice, have a nice afternoon. Okay, I have to show you this. I already ate a piece of it. But so we ordered this watermelon. It's got you can see it's got salt on it. It's got the basil, and then they put um, a little bit of olive oil on top of it, and it is delicious I've never had a combination of watermelon and basil before but it really works very well and a little bit of hint of salt on there right, it's enjoy. Delicious. That thank you so much I thought it was gonna be like breaded. and this here is a succotash it's got beans I'm not what kind of beans are those they're like lima beans maybe lima beans but um, tomatoes corn zucchini Let's see what this tastes like Oh, is it good? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Is it warm? It's hot, yeah. That is weird. Succotash. I mean, of course I've heard about it my whole life. I've only heard it from cartoons. Suffering Succotash? That's it. <laughs> I've never seen it any Actually, else. What cartoon was that? Oh, uh, Sylvester, Sylvester the Cat. Anyways, that's really good. French fries are delicious. That is unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Wild. You know how we need is like a baguette or something. Yeah, that'd be kind of nice. Maybe some bread to go with it. But yeah, this is a really cool place. We're really liking it here.